Hello everybody, my name is Anthony. welcome back to Let's Play Sovereignty, A Crown of Kings as the Peruvian Empire. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So we just got a second hero, which is quite nice. We'll send basically as many troops that can actually attack. So let's deselect everything here and just select the actual meaningful units. Let's deselect, select you, you go this way. Yeah, so the, yeah, we are now at war with this guy, so... We can't really do anything there, though. Except for defend. These guys actually won't even defend inside their own territory. So if they go over here, we can't even attack with our militia, which is a bit annoying. Um, got one over there. Got some more pikemen. We go the light brigade, I guess. So these guys need art, and these guys only need the horses. So how can I be able to build... Is it just money? Oh, they're considered an elite unit. Okay, gotcha. So, we have a decent army there, but they can't really do anything until next turn. We'll increase the economy of these two border provinces. And there's a giant 20 stack that we could attack. So, I think we're going to do like this. We're going to siege it down, and then we're going to attack into their capital city. It's got six uh, economy, so it'll take a little bit of time to siege down. Okay, so we got our lumber. Uh, I guess we'll put them there. We could build a, a boat. We can build a sloop. We can't build these guys because they require way more resources. But I think we just... Oh, these guys also take three, don't they? Oh, my God. Um, resources, resources, resources. Like, I don't know what salt does, so I'd like to actually change that. So next turn, we'll try that. Attack into that. That's a big army, but you can see it's mostly just militia. Um, we have four horses, we have three um, archers. Sadly, we don't have any siege weapons, which will probably make the battle go a little bit harder. But we just send our cavalry to kind of siege down all of the uh, the war goals. I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. And these guys over here are actually all sieging or armoring up together, which is a bit of a shame. What we're going to do, basically, is we're just going to pick off all these smaller guys that are not part of the, seat, uh, the shield wall. Um, do it like that. See, we already got a unit dead there. And, uh, yeah, we can go over there. So we got that. Yeah, well, it's going to take a, a little bit of casualties to be attacked into these stacks. But I think some of them might be... Well, that's not what I really wanted to do. Move. There actually is an undo button, which I think... No. It, it's there, so I might as well use it, but I don't think it should be there. So, yeah, let's, let's take some pot shots at these guys with their bows. And, uh, we can actually do an okay number of damage on this, uh, golden infantry. So, we can kill him, and he's broken, so he's actually falling back a bit. Yeah, we're just getting our siege value, or our shield wall, I should say. Yeah, so they're all kind of grouping up, which is a bit bad for us. And they have some uh, cavalry over there of their own. There's some squires. And uh, let's see if we can break these troops with a little bit of attack. Uh, we didn't, which is a bit of a shame. And, um... Everybody's actually all together. Uh, we'll undo that, because I didn't want to do that. There's no way we can charge because they all have their shield wall. Except, well, we, we can attack into this guy. He doesn't have a shield wall, so... Actually, we can still charge into you. Do a little bit of damage that way. Uh, but other than that, I don't think our horses are going to be super effective. kind of breaking their uh, siege wall. Uh, I keep saying siege wall, it's, it's shield wall. I can't speak the English language. We'll take a lot of attack, uh, casualties attacking into the city, but I think we probably need to. Yeah, and then attacking anybody who's not actually in the city, I don't think super worth it. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to fall back a bit and maybe use him to, you know, he's going to retreat and, you know, rush back in. 
So we're about to take our first, um, first city. We might actually lose a, uh, a pikeman here, which would be a bit of a shame, but it seems like we're doing more damage than we're taking, so. So you can send a cavalry over there. Where's the other one? The other one's also defended, right? Actually, they're not. Oh, we might actually lose this horseman. So let me actually, let's rush this horseman over here. Take that city. We're probably going to take this city in a second. Because we'll probably just kill the guys there. Uh, he's broken, so we're probably going to want to get him out of there. Yeah, so we can just rush this way. You can rush there. And, uh... Shoot them with bows, even though we don't do a lot of damage. And you're broken, right? So, I can't even move that far. So he's just going to take a, super, uh, a lot of casualties if he does anything, really. Okay, so now you actually can get back. So we got like a nice little surround. We'll actually move our archers forward a bit. And it's a nice thing that you can actually move and attack in the same turn. That's the only one that maybe makes a little bit of sense. Is there, are we missing any troops? Yeah, we have a guy here. Might take up a few casualties. We'll probably kill this guy. And we did. So I think next turn we should actually have the victory just by uh, capturing all the things we need to. Or forcing the defenders to retreat. I actually don't know. Well, I mean, there's the retreat button, but I don't think I've ever seen the AI actually do that. And I've never done it either, so I've never seen anybody hit the retreat button. And I wish there's a way to maybe speed up the, um, the, this battle phase. We're actually taking a few casualties ourselves, it's a bit of a shame, but, um, you know, our archers are providing a little bit of covering fire. Oh, you scumbag. Okay. Uh, how many, how many health do you have left? Oh, you're probably dead. Oh, okay, we lost one of our horses. Actually, lost two of our horses that turn. You know, which is a bit of a problem, because I just, I really enjoy the horses. Uh, can we, like, hit any of their horses for a good amount of damage? Not really that I can tell. Yes, we'll just kind of fight into them. Where is our... Do we actually have... Oh, we have no golden marines here. Or golden infantry. We only have kind of the, uh... The basic pikemen. So they're broken. So they could fall right there, and they did. And now that he has nobody to help defend him, he should also die relatively quickly. Especially if he's going to fall back like that. That makes my job a lot easier. Uh, 19 to 12. Uh, these are only going to take casualties for our side, so... Probably not the best use of resources there. So I don't know if we're actually going to be able to win. I mean, there's a turn limit, if I can find out where it is. It's right there. 10 turns remaining. So I think in 10 turns, we can probably actually... Probably kill everybody. Oh yeah, this lost two pikemen. See, with siege weapons, it's also a lot easier. That's why I want to get some trebuchets on the field. So that's why we need more lumber. Oh, we just lost another cavalry. I think they're actually retreating right now. I don't know, I'm fine with that. Either that or just kind of falling back into a better position. damage. We'll do a ton of damage to them. So they're going to be shaken. That should be a quick battle there. We did it. Uh, 19. What kind of... We're actually losing a lot more troops than I thought we would. So where's this pikeman? Oh, he's actually still in the city. And he's actually at full health, too. And I think you can stay where you are. I'm not having a high host for this cavalry. I think he might die this turn. He doesn't look like they have, like, any archer support, though. This guy might charge in. Do a little bit of damage. One of our guys actually fell back a bit. Please don't die. This... I'm gonna see if I can get this horseman, actually. To... Nope, he's gonna get charged. You know, easy come, easy go. Like, the horses are so good, but we should probably keep them a little bit closer to the rest of our armies. 
Yeah, it does look like they're falling back. So, kill them. That should be also a quick win. March these guys forward. Probably actually should. Oh, actually, we can kill with you. Three to four. I can't tell how much HP you have. Okay, that didn't work out as well as I planned it to, but that's fine. So, another turn. Oh, please don't actually die. There's one pikeman's in the middle of nowhere. That's not doing way as nearly as much damage as we were doing. Yeah, they're making a little shield wall over here on their side. Do they have defense? Can they capture cities on their side or no? I don't think so, because we're the aggressor. And, uh... Oh, we didn't kill the cavalry? Are you serious? Um... We can shoot there. Do a little bit of nice damage. Uh, you can... Do a ton of damage, because you are pikemen. So I think they might get a bonus of cavalry. I'm not 100% sure. Ah, uh, this guy is um, maybe a little bit screwed. One, we're just going to just one guy kills. It's not very good. We'll end our turn here because I think everybody's done. And they're kind of moving forward. We got our little nice shield wall. We should be a little bit more defended. Oh, this guy's actually going to make it out alive, which is insane. Uh, we have no range on anything right now. Really, they actually fell back. I don't know why, but they did. Uh, I don't know why they can't move around like that, but... And nobody else can move? Okay. We lost up probably way more troops than we had to in this, uh, in this engagement. But, uh, you know, all the cavalry's off the field, which is the hardest part, I think, of the, uh... Once all the cavalry's dead, it's a lot simpler. So it says that they're shaking, I think, right? Actually... Oh, no. Undo last turn. Didn't want that to happen. So now, actually, they... Take more casualties there. Three to four, five to six. We'll kill either one of these armies that we attack, so... Might as well go like that. You can just charge for the other victory point that we still need. You can still go up. I don't know if there's any way I can heal. All enemy units are expendable for the remainder of your turn. And all enemy mercenaries. So we basically go again, is what that uh, card does. But I don't think we need to, so I, th I think we're just going to end our turn. We have... Four turns, so I think you can get there in four turns, but I think we can easily just kill these guys also in four turns, so. Okay, so you're dead, and you are going to be deceased as well. So we took, you know, six casualties, but they lost their entire army. No longer two of them are actually, like, pretty wounded there. I'll send as many troops there as we can to reinforce. Uh, are we building more troops? We should be. We should always just be building troops, if at all possible. And assuming we're still making money, and we are... It looks like we're actually going to capture a, another province very soon. I think as the go, once hit zero, it becomes ours. And I don't think there's a turn after zero. Oh yeah, I wanted to... I guess let's auto-do this. So what are these guys here? They got one ranger. And they're cultists? See, I don't understand where the, um, who attacks who. It seems almost a bit random. Actually, they're doing a stupid amount of damage. Maybe we need to actually send more troops this way. So, Exotic Market Illusion. Yeah, I know how the ranking button works. Okay, so if we're actually at troops here, it costs zero money. And I'm going to, need to definitely reinforce this side, apparently. So we just lost a few troops. 
So, um... What do we not need? Let's see this salt, right? Like, it doesn't do anything. I don't think it that like, is it adding resources to our country? I don't know what I don't know what it does because I haven't seen it do anything yet. Do you actually have more spells for? Uh, we can't actually get a new one. Yeah, let's let's do that spell. Maybe we can only have one spell cast at a time. I'm not 100% too sure. And this guy declared war on him. I don't know why he, he's like not going over there. Yeah, there's like one guy and we lose like 30. So what are they called this? I don't know their stats. They're 1001. But it's just the exact same. They have actually five of um, whatever that value is. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, eventually we're going to lose that province. What is this? It's disciplined. Oh, they're highly disciplined and we have like none. An admiral, all naval units. I mean, I'll hire them because I can. And we'll throw more garrisons on that side of the map. It'll all work out just fine. And, uh... Three more horses. Really, a lot of horses. And I still need more lumber. Like Crivia, it says you have a ton. Why aren't you going to give me your your wood? Well, now it says you have three, so I guess we're just going to give you money, like a thousand gold, because that's worth more than market value. Oh, I, I was trying. I meant to attack that turn. Ah, whatever. It's fine. Ne the next, uh, next part is the capital too, so... I would love it if you just stopped attacking from that side. Can somebody go kill all these cultists? They're way too disciplined. Like, how do they have so much discipline? I have no clue. They're, they, they're doing it. You're just waiting to be deployed. Of course we do. Um, one, two, three, and then send. Because every turn, as long as we can reinforce more than we lose, it should just be infinite. No, no, we'll never foster. So we upgrade the money. Or the upgrade these two provinces. Are these guys all fully healed? They are fully healed. I think we are going to attack to the capital. There's a lot of guys there. Oh, there's actually a ton of horsemen. That's a lot of horsemen, but I think we are going to attack next episode. So thank you for watching my next video. If you enjoyed one of the thumbs up, if you're not doing it, you can always thumbs down. You want to support, subscribe, and goodbye.